Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design, coming at you with a WYSIWYG web builder tutorial. Coming off my little bit of a, little bit of a hiatus here I've been on. Uh, I've been working on a bit of a personal project with the website, taking up an awful lot of my time. Still working on it, still getting there, but we're getting real close. Uh, today I'm going to be working in the new WYSIWYG web builder 9 interface. And I'm going to be playing with a, a cool new feature called the timer. Uh, this has been a long time coming. I love this feature. I want to show it to you, show you some of the use cases for it. Um, so what I have here is one of the default um, themes. If you have WYSIWYG Web Builder, then you have this uh, this theme installed that you can use. Uh, I don't recommend it. It's very outdated, but I just needed some content up here to show, let's kind of give you an idea of what was going on. So I installed that. Uh, to put that in, you can do that from uh, even WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 or older versions. You just click on File and then New Site from Template. And you should have a whole list of templates in here. Uh, your, your list may be different than mine, but I just grabbed this one here. It says Business Number 4. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to have a uh, an interruption box so for, like, uh, let's say, a newsletter opt-in or something. So... Basically, if you've ever been on a website and you've seen that you've been on the website for, let's say, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, and all of a sudden, boop, this pop-up comes up and asks you to opt into a newsletter. Um, extremely annoying. I know nobody really likes to have that happen to them, but they, for whatever reason, they are very successful. They tend to work very well. Um, I think it's got more to do with the fact that, hey, it's, it's in the user's face, you know. Um, so... First thing we're going to do is drag my favorite tool, which is the layer, and I got to find uh, I got to find it here. I'm using this kind of new. It's, it's not that different, but okay, here's layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of the layer to be the same size as the page. Okay, so the page looks like it's 800 by 746. So I'm going to lay that out the same way: 746 by 800. Okay, and I'm going to change the color uh, to, I guess we'll just go with black is fine. And I'm going to go over to the general tab here. I'm going to make sure I click on every single one of these options here. Okay. I'm going to change the alignment to the center so that it's moved in the middle. And by clicking all of these options, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that this black box is going to fill the entire screen and nothing else is going to be visible. So to show you... You'll see there's the website underneath this layer, and here's what it looks like when you preview. It's a big black box, and something didn't work exactly. Let's find out what happened. Okay, the website got switched around. The height changed to 1140. Let's change that back to 800, and then we'll re-preview this. Now it should fill the whole screen. Yep, there we go screen is black all right so next thing we want to do is we don't want that to show up right away we want to delay that a little bit so we're going to go into the page properties and I'm going to click on events I'm going to add a new event and it's going to say on load we're going to hide and we're going to hide this layer so this is layer number one that we're working with here hit OK and then hit OK again Let's preview and see what this does, and you'll see that when the site loads, it just loads normally. No layers visible. All the links are fine. You can click on stuff, enter text, all that stuff. Alrighty. So, now how do we make this layer appear after a short period of time? Well, in WYSIWYG Web Builder 9, there's a new tool over here called the Timer. What we're going to do is we're going to come out here and drag this out. And... You have a couple options in here. It's not terribly complicated, but you have two options. You can do interval or timeout. An automatic start, which I would recommend for this uh, for this use case here. And the interval is in milliseconds, so 1,000 is equal to one second. 2,000 is equal to two seconds, so on and so forth. Um, so we'll go ahead and set 3,000 just uh, so it's a little bit quick. It's probably a lot faster than you're going to want it to be. I would probably set that around maybe 15,000. Um, that way. You Somebody's on your site for more than 15 seconds. You know that they're interested in, in what you got. Um, they're paying attention, and that's when you want to get them. Okay. So, and then in, what interval means is that it's going to, whatever event that you're trying to trigger with the timer, it's going to do it 
every three seconds. And we don't want that. We want timeout. And what timeout is, is basically a countdown. Um, so it's going to count down three seconds. And then after that's over, that's when the event happens. So what's the event we want to happen? Well, we want to show that layer, basically. So event on timer. We're going to show with effect. That way it does some fancy stuff. We want to select layer one is what we're going to show. And you can choose uh, the effect. There are a couple new ones, I think, um, from, if I remember correctly, from the uh, release here. I don't know which ones exactly, so uh, I'm just going to do I'm just going to do fade. I like to fade things in and out. Um, it's got to be a little bit quicker when it fades in, so we're going to call it maybe length 250. Hit OK, and then hit OK, and let's preview this and see how it looks. That looks so far. So they're on the side, boom, 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 playing around. One, two, three, and in fades our layer. Beautiful. Now, what you do is you're going to add whatever you want into that layer. So in our case, we want to add in a form that will allow them to contact us. So uh, I'm not going to get too detailed. I guess we'll just use this form because it looks like an email opt-in. Okay, okay. I'll just do this real quick so it looks nice. Center it up. Just eyeballing it really. Alrighty, so there's that. And then the next thing you want to do is give them an option to close this if they don't want to uh, participate in that form. So we're just going to grab a shape real quick. And we'll find uh, my X down here somewhere. Wherever it went. Oh boy, look at all that. All kinds of new shapes. That looks fun. There's a lot I can do with that. Someplace I have an X. Where's that X? I don't like that one. Might be a little closer to the top. There it is. I like that X. Okay, we're going to. Any laces already selected by default. That's great. Alright, so let's resize this puppy down a little bit. And I'm just going to throw it right over here next to the form. I'm not focusing too much on the styling. That's, uh, I'll let you guys take care of that. So what we're going to do is on click, when somebody clicks on that close button, we're going to hide with effect. I'm sure you knew that was coming. Layer 1. And we'll just... Um, Uh, let's just leave it on blind, so we're normal. And I'm going to leave the effect on 500, so it's a little bit slower. Okay. So, one, two, three, cruising around. Boop. Opt in, please. Uh, no, thanks. Close it. Boop. There it goes. Okay. And that's it. So, to take that a little bit further, I think what I want to do is, real quick, I want to um, just play around with the background. I want to try and make the background some semi-transparent here. So let me just make a transparent block real quick. Not clever. Uh, do libraries itself. Um, oops. What? Alright, here we go. So, let me go in here and go back to style, and instead of uh, a color, let me grab an image. And then we go grab that transparent block. Repeat. Oh, blah, blah, okay, looks good. Hit OK. Okay, so now let's preview this with a kind of a transparent background rather than a see that beautiful look at that that's nice alrighty so kind of a quick tutorial but hopefully it was uh pretty cool uh if you haven't got WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 yet um go get it it's it's really cool uh 
kind of like it. I'm probably going to buy it. I haven't part, I haven't bought it yet. I want to try it out before. I'll make sure it had enough good features, but uh, I think I'm going to buy this. I really like it. So hopefully you like this tutorial, and uh, you can give it a, give it some thumbs ups if you liked it. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.